Hello. How are you doing? No, no, no. Open your bag. Yeah. What is that? Peanut butter box. Okay. Just have a seat. You can take your bag and put it all the way in the corner. And then you have a seat right here. Oh, I'm just maintaining. Yeah. I'll be going to um court tomorrow. Huh? I said I'll be going to court tomorrow. Oh, you're going to court for? Uh, to serve a warrant on the judge. To serve a warrant on the judge? What type of warrant are you serving on the judge this time? In a restaurant. I thought they said you can't go back to the office to do any processing. Can you process that warrant? Because you'll be in violation if you went to uh, to process anything at the clerk's office. Uh, you're misunderstanding what, what was said. No, uh, what am I misunderstanding? Okay, I'm going to court to file a warrant. Oh, you going to court? Okay, so the warrant hasn't been filed on the judge yet. No. Okay. Who's going to sign that warrant on the judge? Who's going to sign it? Mm -hmm. Well, the way uh, that I have it structured, I I um, tendered a criminal affidavit and. Uh, which and judge and do you want to sign a warrant on? Boulder. Okay, what you're going to do is go like this. You have to hold it and like this so you won't cover your numbers. Off, your numbers, not mine. They're not my numbers, they're your numbers. You no, don't see. No. I gave it to you. No, I don't, I don't accept them. This is still by force. Okay, look right. Look right there. Actually, I have a um, Rule 60 motion for fraud on court that I've um, filed in regards to an administrative hearing, and they have not responded to me. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to file it with the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And uh, being that I have a default on the criminal affidavit, um, I'm going to the Broward Sheriff's Department and demand that um, he be picked up based on the criminal um, affidavit. If they don't do that, then I go to the U.S. Marshal Service and do the same thing. Call that lady to find out when to go there. No, I've already been. the paperwork. I've already been there and did that. She said that you, uh, your court order to correct. We're going to go over that because apparently you didn't sign everything or something wasn't correct that you have to go up there and sign. Well, I gave them a release of lien. That's what they asked for. And I'm going to go over the orders with you. Okay. All right. You're under probation for under Judge Bober. You adjudicated guilty from count one through five for grand theft in the first degree and simulation of legal process of uh, three counts. One through four, not five. Oh, you have two cases. Okay. And that's running concurrent with the five years with this case. 
Your call supervision has been waived. No contact directly or indirectly with the victim. So whoever's your victim, I guess it's the judge, your victim. Whoever's your victim, that's who you don't have contact with. That's going to be, oh, Fat, Fatty Mac. Fanny Mac. No contact. I guess Fanny Mac is actually an organization, so I guess no paperwork or anything like that can be filed through them or something. So you're telling me I can't file a uh, complaint against them? Uh, no contact with Fannie Mac. So any contact you make with Fannie Mac will be against your probation. So if you have an indirect or direct contact with Fannie Mac, then that's going to be valid your probation. So basically I'm under servitude of the court where I can't uh, assert my right of redress of grievances for the damages sustained. You cannot have no contact under, while you're on probation for these five years, you cannot have no contact indirectly or directly with Fannie Mac. So since that's the organization, that whole organization, you can't have contact indirectly or directly. You can take it up to court and discuss that with the judge, but you just can't say, oh, I'm getting ready to write this up on Fannie Mac. That'll be an indirect contact. So I can't proceed with a complaint or a lawsuit against Freddie Mac. Fannie Mac, not Freddie. Fannie Mac, Fannie, Fannie, whatever. Yeah. Fannie Mac, mm -hmm. correct. Because that's against the organization. Fannie Mac is not a per se person, it is an organization. Okay. Okay. And that's what you, you know, this is stuff that you guys went over. I'm just reviewing it with you. Your restitution order is for $2,000. Uh, you are to Defendant only foul only foul any documents with the county records office. I think it said you cannot. Let me see. Defendant can only file any documents with the county recording office through a okay, that's what we said. Okay. Yes. The defendant you can file documents. But it has to go through a Florida Bar attorney. So I'm under servitude of the Florida Bar Association. Right. You cannot file any documents unless it's through a Florida uh, attorney. That's what they have you under. So you can go ahead and file uh, documents, uh, and I think they specifically say with the county, with the county recording office. So the only time that you can file any documents with the county recording office is through the Florida Bar Attorney. If you're doing this without an attorney, then you're going against your violation. And again, that's a violation. You, that's a violation of your probation. Do you understand that's a violation of my rights, though? You're going to have to get a rights attorney. I'm basically proceeding to just carry out. I understand. I'm just judge. asking. Yeah. What? So this is something. I mean, if you you can go ahead and consult your attorney, but other I am than my that, own I have attorney. to go through this. I am my own attorney. Defendant to stay away from the county recording office. Defendant also to come to the courthouse at any time, um, at the at the request of the state attorney office to sign any documents to correct or uh, any issues that was heard or related to this case. So I'm instructing you to contact the state attorney office to make an appointment. She actually wanted you to go there today. I'll be there tomorrow. You, her name is Kathy Kay. Kathy, this is Officer Tidings. I have Eddie Banks here in my office. 
and he was saying that he completed the paperwork, but I, right, okay, so can I put you on speakerphone so you can tell him what he needs to do? Okay. Just one moment, I'm going to go ahead and put your speaker uh, so that I have them here with me. Just one moment. Okay, I have Eddie uh, Banks here with me. So there, there, Hello? There, yes. there are other documents that need to be signed. What other documents? I'm, I'm I'm asking what documents, because I, I provided a, a release of lien as demanded, so I, I'm, I'm asking what documents. A releases of lien. I, I've already. That they prepared, like for Shannon Doe and for Rudd. Okay, Jeremy I've, Rudd the judge. I've already uh, prepared those and submitted those. It's, it's not a big exercise. It's a matter of. It's nice and simple. Let's not get into a lot of. It's, yeah. Eddie, can you come over here to our office at some point and just sign it all? Eddie, there's nothing tricky about them. Yeah. So like, they're simpler than what you had. Okay. What are I, they? They're, they're, they're on your desk. They're perfectly simple. There's nothing tricky about them. Yeah. So they But that's that's what I'm asking you. I I've already submitted that, and, and what I'm saying. Can I'm you hold on? Let me, yes, sir. Can you? If you don't want to do it. We'll no, I no why no. Not, why do you want to create a problem? Can you let me speak, please? May may okay. I? Okay. The thing is, is the documents that I prepared. What is happening is I'm getting duped out of my rights. So now you're telling me that that I cannot prepare any lawful documentation unless it's under the restraint of a Florida bar attorney. That's what my issues are. So I'm just making it formally known that I'm under protest. I'm going to obey uh, based on your actions and, and your um, your attempts to bring me in, for, in front of another judge to, to possibly put me in jail if I don't obey what your wishes on paper. So what are you going to do with the release of liens that I've already submitted? I'll be there tomorrow. Okay, come, come see me, Kathy, okay? All righty. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. All right. Move on. You see that? You can take that up with them. But that is strong on me. That is strong on me. I mean, you just have to prove your case within the system. So Hi, how are you? when you meet with the attorney, 
when you meet with them to sign whatever documents, you can discuss it there instead of filing. Yes. Okay. This, this government is ruling on fear and belligerence of law. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land, and they are violating my rights under the Constitution. Well, maybe you need to contact a civil attorney. Civil That's what attorney. I'm This is what I'm saying. I am my own attorney. But what I'm saying to you are currently what they have you under, you have to go through a Florida Bar attorney, so you will have to contact a civil rights attorney that really specialize in these cases and able to direct you in an appropriate way that is within the system. Because all you want to do is Buckheads. That's what's going to happen. It's, it's, I'm just saying I'm not bucking heads. I'm just... I know. You're, you're asserting your civil rights in your own belief. On your own, your own understanding, you asserting your civil rights beliefs. So, you know, it just... What do you want to go through? What are you willing to fight for? That's that's on you. So um, I have extreme fear of this government and its belligerence, and I'm very fearful of it. The willful uh, ignorance and neglect of the people just disheartens me, and it upsets me greatly. Because, like I've said, no one can put in an affidavit stating that I hurt them or harmed them in any way. But I'm I'm getting upset now, but let me just calm myself down. Yeah, just calm down because you want to go in there calm. Because if you go in there belittling or irate and you don't use your calm voice, uh, then what's going to happen, they're going to like, oh, we need to go ahead and call the probation so I, she can do a warrant so we can get this warrant I've signed. Never, you see what I'm saying? I've never been belligerent. I'm just saying, one can say, uh, 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 but I, I believe that you never have, but what I'm saying is that it's don't just get bending. yourself psyched up. No, it's just the force of bending my will. Mm -hmm. And there's no there's no right, rhyme, reason, or law that justifies well, it. Well, that's why I'm saying you're going to have to use the system as far as getting you a, a civil rights attorney but the, the that system can help is, fight you. The fight system for you. is corrupt. Regardless of what system that we believe that we may be dealing with at the time that we're dealing with in 2012, you still have to, in order to get somewhere, you're still going to have to get a civil rights attorney to help you with this. You're not going to be able to fight this on your own. And also, at least for the next five years, you won't be able to because every time you do, I'm going to have to submit a violation of your probation if you go and do it yourself without a board of, uh, a bar attorney. Until I get a um, void of judgment. Once I get the void of judgment. Until you get something that's stating that this is no longer in effect. But as long as this is in effect, you're going to have to go through a Florida bar attorney. And if you refuse to go through a Florida bar attorney and you file paper, then I get that information from whomever going to give it to me. And then I have to write it up. And you're going to have, end up getting a warrant submit for your arrest, basically. You see what I'm saying? Because you're going against what has been court ordered for you to do. It's a fraudulent court. Okay, so so you're going to plan on meeting the state attorney oh, I'm tomorrow? going there tomorrow. Okay. And what, what extent will I be allowed to um, retain my uh, re religious rights and conviction? No, religious is not, uh, that's not, mm -mm. you have a right to uh, practice your religion as far as, there, and also, like I tell you, confidentiality when it comes to mental health and medical. So mental health and medical, uh, even if you were incarcerated, they have to give you those rights, period, when it comes to religion, medical, and and I have and um, to have be uh, legally serviced. Okay, these are your probation orders. Uh, basically, on your probation orders, you are order on probation. So this is your order on this case here. Uh, you have to report to the probation office each month. I give you a time and date when to come in. 
Um, your cost of supervision has been waived. You will remain at a specific place. You will not change your residence or employment or leave the county of your residence without letting me know. Now, do you, are you, um, your monthly report, let me see your monthly report. I plan report. on uh, leaving the county for the Thanksgiving. Let me see your monthly report. I don't have one. You should have one. No, I didn't do Did one. Did you give it to me? No, I didn't oh, do one. Oh, you have to do it. You no, do it. well, let me show you because I know y'all would like. You, gave, uh, you were getting ready to hand it to me. No. Oh, the monthly report. That right there. No. I have to have that. Okay, so you're unimported this time, correct? Yeah. Okay. And what is your apartment number? Two. Okay. Now, I came by your place yesterday, uh -huh. but apparently your wife wasn't at home. Now, I humbly requested like information, your oath of office, and you said you don't do that. <laughs> well, I don't. Uh, I have you talk to my supervisor. Okay. Because I never had nobody request that. Okay. I give you my card, and no, I work for the state employee, and then I have my badge, and I show my badge, and that gives you my badge number. No, I, I need like. Yeah, oath of office. Some oath of office statement. We have our statement for the whole state. No, I, I need a... Well, I have you speak to my... If you don't my, mind. I, I have you speak to my supervisor because I never had any requests for uh, such a form. Okay. And any um, public hazard bond. I let you speak to my okay. supervisor because I have not had a request of any of those things. Thank okay? you. Okay. Well, how, how for... Well... I don't know. I'm I'm hurt right now emotionally. Very very hurt. Okay. Now once um, once I finish this and have you sign, then I let you speak to my supervisor. You can ask her for that. And I think I stay and listen to see uh, if I did have a question. Oh, by the way, here's my supervisor. Hi. How are you? Um, All right. Now you can ask her what you were asking me if she's I wanna... um, or do you want to wait until I finish this? Why don't we just wait until you finish what you're doing? Okay. 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 All right. okay. okay, now you will remain at a specific place. Uh, you will not change your residence or employ leave the county of residence without first letting me know. Now you were saying that you would like to go somewhere for Thanksgiving. Where do you plan on going for Thanksgiving? My mother's. Where is that at? Lee County. Huh? Lee County. Lee County? Are you spending the night? Uh, yes. Okay. What I need, since you just started probation, I will go ahead and uh, give you the permission to go. Uh, one thing that can stop you from going, Lisa County, if you're uh, back on funds, like if you owe quite a bit of money and you haven't made the payments, that can uh, stop you from uh, being able to uh, go. I'm going to go over your money with you today on what you have to pay. While I do this, here, write down. I don't have the address. I will have to call her. Uh -huh. The address. Okay, write down her number so we can call it. I got to do it today because uh, tomorrow won't be in and then I'll be going for the rest. Okay. So write down her telephone number and her name. So I can her well, I'll give you my. Can I call her and have her call you? Uh, as long as it happened today, because uh, I have to check out all of that to make sure everything is set, and I need an address where you're going to be spending the night. Mm. That's a bit much information I don't want to get. Well, you won't be able to travel there as part of probation. You have to provide me with the address that you're going to spend the night with. And then I got to call the person that you're going to spend the night with and verify that you're staying there. And if you uh, don't want to give me that address, then I cannot give you permission to leave the county. That is part of probation. Okay. There's no respect of reserving your rights in no shape, form, or fashion. 